How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Mr. Eric Reads. It is Friday, which is awesome because everyone loves Friday, which means it's tomorrow, Saturday, and then you got Sunday, and then you got another couple weeks before we start back to school. So all really good things. Today's book is another one um, from the Herman's Personal Library that they allowed me to borrow early on in the summertime. And this one is by Phyllis Krosilovsky. Krosilovsky. And it's called The Woman Who Saved Things. So let's find out about this woman, why she saved what she saved, and a little bit more about her story here on Mr. Eric Reads. There once was a woman who lived with her cat in a little house. Her children and grandchildren lived far away, so she had plenty of room. At first, part of the house was completely empty. Spider webs in the corners looked like decorations, it was so empty. As my phone falls again. Then, little by little, the woman began to fill up the rooms. She got lots of packages, and she saved the stamps, wrapping paper, and string that came with every one. Every Wednesday morning, she went on long walks because that was trash, co trash collection day. And she'd find all kinds of things that people put outside their homes. One day, she drove her pickup truck back for a sofa that was only missing one leg, plus an old stovepipe that reminded her of a sculpture she'd seen in a museum. The woman could never pass up a bargain. Once she bought a box of yarn on sale, because why not? She told herself that she would learn how to knit a sweater, but in the end, her cat had all the fun playing with the yarn. She picked up a Chinese kite without a tail in the Salvation Army for just a quarter, a pair of roller skates without their strap for just a dime, and a pretty doll without any hair for only a nickel. She was always buying and finding books, she just couldn't resist them. Her bookcases got so full that she had to stack books against the walls. It was amazing how many things piled up. It would have been so hard to count them all. One morning, the woman's son wrote that he and his family were coming to visit. First, she was really excited, but then she began to worry. What could she do to make room for them? The guest beds were covered with things she'd collected, and she decided that she was going to hold a yard sale. She carried things down to her porch. She had to take many trips. It was so hard to decide what prices to charge for stuff that she had collected. She'd forgotten all the things that suddenly seemed valuable. can't sell this box of string, she said. I'll need it to tie back the bushes. I can't really sell these yarn balls. The cat enjoys playing with them. So she put them back inside as well. And so it went. Then she began to feel tired, so she lay down on the three-legged sofa. Before long, she fell asleep. When she woke up, her son and her family were there. I I'm happy you're here, she said, but everything is quite a mess. I was planning a porch sale to get rid of things so you'd have more room. What fun, they said. We'll help you. And they did. There were some things left over. Her grandson asked about the strapless skates to make skateboards for himself and his sister. 
Her son was happy to take home a lot of books she'd finished reading herself. Her daughter-in-law loved the idea of the old stove pipe as a sculpture on her lawn. Her granddaughter asked for some yellow yarn to make a wig for the doll and to put a tail on the Chinese kite. The woman and her grandchildren had plenty of string to make the kite fly higher and higher. The woman was happy that everyone had found something to enjoy and that she wouldn't have to fix everything up herself. The morning they left, they tied the stove top to the roof and they, so they wouldn't fall off the car. It's a good thing I saved that heavy string, the woman said. I always knew it would come in handy for something. After they were gone, she used the rest of it to tie the bushes up against the house. She propped the sofa up with the old books and then plopped down on it to think about the pleasant visit. It was a relief not to have so many things around, so she was glad that her saving days were over. Then she decided to go for a walk. She'd forgotten it was Wednesday, trash collection day. So she was surprised to see lots of interesting things along the roadside. She walked right past them though. I won't bother to look at what's out there. After all, my collecting days are over. But then her eye was caught by the legs of an ironing board. It wouldn't hurt to get a closer look, she thought. The board's in great shape, she thought. It could make a great table for plants. But she left it there. A little further, she saw a bathtub with claw legs. That would make a great garden pool, she thought. I could sink it into the ground and put goldfish in it. Maybe a couple of water lilies too. But instead, she walked on. She saw an old vase that could be made into a nice lamp and a broken mast sailboat that could float in the bathtub. There was an old record player that would be handy for spinning clay pots and a bookcase that only one, needed one new shelf. Then she spied a dressmaker's dummy that would be perfect for scaring the birds out of her vegetable garden. Without another thought, she raced home for her truck so she could beat the trash collector. She had to make several stops to pick up the vase, the phonograph, the ironing board, the bookcase, and several other things. Luckily, the trash collector came along just as she was wondering how to lift that bathtub. He offered to deliver it for her. I mean, ma'am, you'll save me the trouble of hauling this whole heavy thing out to the dump, he said. And after everything was unloaded, the woman realized she was right back to where she started, saving things again. But never mind, that's what she liked to do best. Now, if only she weren't feeling too lazy to dig a hole for that bathtub, fix the shelf for the bookcase, and fix the mast on the boat, she'd be all set. Well, maybe she'd do it tomorrow. And in the meantime, she put one of her old hats on the dressmaker's dummy in her vegetable garden. And then took herself a little rest. The end. Phyllis Krosilovsky's The Woman Who Saved Things here on Mr. Eric Reads about being creative and using things, reduce, recycle, reuse. That's what this old lady was doing. Saving things to reuse them. So, hope you guys enjoyed that story. Come back again tomorrow. We'll have another tale. And as always, guys, please continue to stay safe, wash your hands, and be kind. I'll see you guys around.